everyone, this is Shara Fiello Yum and this is going to be like a daytime um, to go to look for moms out. It's so hard to be a mom, especially if you are a first time mom because you're overwhelmed with so much stuff to do and you barely have enough time to do your makeup. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. So I'm going to start by applying lip balm. This is from Hurao. And then I'm going to proceed to priming the face. I'm using Majolica Majorca Skin Lingerie. And this will make the makeup last long. And it's most important if you're out and about with your family. Now I'm using a light to medium coverage foundation such as this one from Beauty Credit. And I prefer using this type of foundation on daytime when I don't need much coverage. I'm using a flat top brush and working my way out from the center. Now, it's time to proceed to concealing the under eyes. I am using Perfect Cover Cream Concealer. And most moms will definitely understand the lack of sleep which cause dark circles. And I am no exception to that. So right now, I'm using this concealer in Natural which has a peach undertone to counter the bluish veins. I like this concealer because it neutralizes my under eyes and it's not too obvious that I have concealer on. It's just the perfect cover-up for daytime. Now it's time to set everything with powder. I've been using this matte powder that was gifted to me by my mother-in-law. Unfortunately, I don't know the brand because I can't read Korean. She got this for me when they went to Korea. It doesn't have a lot of coverage. It's actually quite sheer, but it's matte and it smells so good. On to the eyebrows. I'm using Nichido Eye Precision Pencil and this is in Hazelnut. I frame my brows by just following the shape of it and be sure to sharpen your eyebrow pencil before using it because it's a lot easier to control. I prefer using an angled or eyebrow brush just like what I'm using right now to distribute the color evenly. And I usually sport fuller brows because it actually makes you look more youthful. So that's what I do. And after distributing all of the pigment or all of the color, I use a spoolie to brush it evenly. I love this next step. Sometimes you get the wrong shade of eyebrow pencil or product or you just want to not worry about your brows moving throughout the day. K Palette Eyebrow Mascara is your best friend. It lightens the brows a little bit and keeps it in place. And then it's time to move on to the eyes. Just like the face, I make sure to prime my eyes before applying any eyeshadow. Today, I am using Lulu Makeup's Madrid Eyeshadow Palette and I'm choosing a medium brown shade for the lid. I apply it with a flat shader brush, pulling the color up so that it's still visible even if I open my eyes. Next is defining the outer corners and the crease with this taupey purple shade from the palette. This adds depth to the look and it adds a little color too. I'm using a bullet brush to apply this and as you can see, I'm just sweeping it from the outer corners going in. I also use two shades of dark brown to intensify the outer corners more. So just like the shade earlier, I start from the outer corners going in. And then as always, blend all the harsh edges. Now I'm using this soft yellow, almost off-white color as highlight. So I highlight the brow bone, the inner corners of my eyes, and also the inner lower lash line. And as for the outer part, I use the same taupey purple that I used earlier on the crease. Now it's time to line the eyes. I'm using brown instead of black. 
because this is a daytime look and it's just a little softer and I'm not winging it too much as well. I like gel or liquid eyeliners as they last a long time. For my waterline, I'm using this Nichido Concealer Pencil to make my eyes look bigger. And then it's time to curl the lashes and for mascara, I'm using K Palette's One Day Lash Perm. I apply it on the upper and lower lashes. That's about it for the eyes and now it's time for the face. I always contour my face because I have a round face and I want to make it look a little slimmer so I use the K palette One Day Magic 3D palette to contour the cheeks, my jawline and temples and I use the brush that comes with the palette for my nose contouring and also use it for highlight. I actually find the brush quite useful. I sweat quite easily so I need something highly pigmented for blush and so I chose this cream blush from NYX and I'm using a stippling brush to stipple it onto my face. Cream blushes tend to stick to the skin longer than powder. Now for the lips, I'm lining it first with lip liner from Etude House so that even if my lipstick fades a little, there will still be color on my lips. And that means lesser retouch. Yay! Now for the lipstick, I'm using Color Collection's Ultimate Wear in Angel. This is a beautiful everyday lip color. And this lipstick really lasts even if I eat or drink. It's still there and when it stains the lips, it doesn't transfer so I can kiss my daughter the whole day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to visit yellowyum.com for more pictures. Like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and please subscribe for more videos.